Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, we will see how we can add image comparison feature on Elementor website. And we will install a free plugin to get this image comparison feature on the Elementor website. It's a free plugin and it's an add-on for the Elementor. So let's see how the image comparison works. This is the demo. Now this is how the image comparison will look. So this part is before part, this part is after part. So let's say this is what the image was looking before you work on the image. And if I scroll the slider here, you will see the after image. So this is the before image and this is the after image. So you can change the image also. This is just an example of showing you how the image comparison works. So what I have here is an image which was let's say uh, kind of black and white and I have worked on this image and I have added color to the image and this is how it looks after editing or after customizing the image. So let's see how we can add this kind of image comparison on the Elementor website. So I'm on the dashboard and as I said earlier we are going to install a free plugin. So let's go to plugins and go to add new. The name of the free plugin is Elements Kit Light. And here you will see the plugin that we are going to install. I have it already installed on the website. So that's why it shows update now. I need to update it. However, it is installed on this website. So you can install it on your Elementor website. Let me show you. So this is the plugin that we are going to use. So I'm on the demo page and on this page, we are going to add this image comparison. So click on this plus sign and search for image. And here you will see the option image comparison. And you will see this EKIT on this element that is element skit light. So click on this image comparison, drag it and drop it here. Okay, now it shows the container style is vertical. We are going to use horizontal. So this is how it will look. This part is for the before and this part is for the after image. So for the before, let's go to choose image. I have it already uploaded. So I'm going to choose the before image and click on insert media. So this is the before image. Now let's go to the after image and select the after image. And this is the after image. Now here you will see the label, this label before is here if you want to change the label you can change and this is the after label you will see it here now go to settings now the offset this offset is at 50 percent if you want to change it you can change it to let's say 80 percent or whatever offset you want you can change from here they can scroll so i'm going to set it to 50 percent the default one now remove overlay right now when I move the cursor you will see the overlay if I remove it you will not see any overlay here however you will also not see the labels if I remove the overlay so I'm going to disable it now move slider on hover so if I enable it so I do not need to click on it it will even if I just move the cursor on the image the slider will move automatically so I'm not clicking on it so I'm going to disable it and click to move so I need to click to move just like this right so these are the basic settings and there are not too many settings for the image for the element so if you want to add border you can add border this is for the label you see the label here if you want to change the color typography, you can change it from here. And this is the handle. Now here you will see the background arrow color. So this is the handle. If I change it, let's say use this one, you will see the color change here. And change the height, width, like this. And this is the divider thickness. So you will see the thickness is increasing. And you can also change the divider color. So I guess the white one looks good. However, you can change it. So these are the basic settings. All right, now let's click on update. Close this one and 
go to view page so this is how it will look just like the demo that we created now let's change the image right now we have the same image with color change so we are going to change it completely different so let's delete this one and use another let me use this one this is just an example this is the before image and this will be the after image okay, now let's update it go back refresh it okay this is how it will look so these two images are completely different so this is how you can use image comparison on your elementor website so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips